Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Gaganyaan program intends to demonstrate human space flight capability into lower earth orbit LEO. The term LEO is used for the area of space below an altitude of 2000 km which is one third of earth's radius. As part of this program two unmanned missions and one manned missions are approved by government of india the total cost of gaganyaan program is approximately rupees 9023 crores after the successful completion of gaganyaan program the next step will be to focus towards achieving capability for a sustained human presence in this space the Gaganyaan of ISRO will use GSLV MK3 launch vehicle which was also chosen for Chandrayaan 2 mission. GSLV MK3 is capable of placing the 4 ton class satellites of the GSAT series into geosynchronous transfer orbit. MK3 is a three stage rocket which has two solid strap-ons, a core liquid booster and a cryogenic upper stage. The powerful cryogenic stage of GSLV MK3 enables it to place heavy loads into low earth orbit of 600 km altitude. In stage 1 or the first stage, the rocket is propelled with the help of two solid strap-ons S200 boosters attached to the sides of the rocket. Each carries 205 tons of composite solid propellant and their ignition results in the vehicle liftoff. S200 function for 140 seconds. The stage 2 is core stage or L110 liquid stage powered by a pair of liquid propelled Vikas 2 engines. During strap-ons functioning phase, the two clustered Vikas liquid engines of L110 liquid core booster will ignite 114 seconds after liftoff to further augment the thrust of the vehicle. These two engines continue to function after the separation of the strap-ons at about 140 seconds after liftoff. The stage 3 is cryogenic upper stage C25 powered by cryogenic engine CE20. It is India's largest cryogenic engine designed and developed by the Liquid Propulsion System Center. If you have noticed the nomenclature of these three stage that is S in S200 of stage 1 stand for solid, L in L110 stage stands for liquid and C in C20 stage 3 stands for cryogenic. The numbers denote the total propellant mass they can carry. Now that we have clear understanding of Gaganyaan's rocket, we'll talk about the recent test and other tests conducted by ISRO and its significance. On January 12, 2022, ISRO has successfully conducted the qualification test of cryogenic engine for Gaganyaan program. The test was conducted at ISRO Propulsion Complex IRPC Mahindragiri, Tamil Nadu for a duration of 720 seconds. As per the update from ISRO, the performance of the engine met the test objectives and the engine parameters were closely matching with the prediction during entire duration of the test. This successful long duration test is a major milestone for human space program Gaganyaan. It ensures the reliability and robustness of the cryogenic engine for induction into human rated launch vehicle of Gaganyaan. Further, this engine will undergo four more tests for a cumulative duration of 1810 seconds. Subsequently, one more engine will undergo two short duration tests and one long duration test to complete the cryogenic engine qualification for Gaganyaan program. Back on July 14, 2021, ISRO had successfully conducted the third long duration hot test of the liquid propellant Vikas engine for the core L110 liquid stage of the human rated GSLV MK3 vehicle as a part of engine qualification requirements for the Gaganyaan program. The engine was fired for a duration of 240 seconds 
एट द इंजन टेस्ट फैसिलिटी ऑफ इसरो प्रोपल्सन कॉम्प्लेक्स महेंद्रगिरी इन तमिलनाडु विकास इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट लेवल इंजन इन द वर्ल्ड एंड हैज प्रूवन इट्स मेटल इफ यू लुक एट पी एस एल वी जी एस एल वी एम के टू एंड जी एस एल वी एम के थ्री मिशन वेयर विकास हैज बिन यूज द बर्न प्रोफाइल और ड्यूरेशन इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली अराउंड वन फिफ्टी टू वन सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स ओनली ऑन ए टिपिकल फ्लाइट testing its performance above its designed operation limit that is for 240 seconds is essential to ensure engine reliability against any event of a mishap so qualifying for a long duration burn increases the confidence on the engine to human rate it isro is also working on a semi cryogenic engine se 200 which will replace vikas engine in future These tests are important milestone for ISRO's Gaganyaan mission. The long duration test firing of core engine is especially important towards gaining more confidence towards engine performance to ensure it does not shut off immediately after the lift off from the launch pad. At the same time, the test of cryogenic engine is must to gauge the engine's performance of the rocket at last stage of the launch. The normal rockets that carry a commercial payload such as satellites to space experience high g loads or you can say gravitational loads however the same rocket cannot be used for human space travel as these loads cannot be tolerated by human being in a rocket which carries humans the load is limited to 3 to 4 g trajectory of the rocket will also be different to reduce g loads experienced by astronauts this trajectory modification will require a longer engine burn duration therefore it's important to test the engine performance considering the above modifications that need to be done for human space travel this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector